Howdy folks, sticking with my uh, lazy trend again here today, another uh, short video here. I'd like to introduce you to the uh, Tico L510 variable frequency drive. Really interesting for most people, right? Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but quickly, a uh, VFD does exactly what you would think it would do from the name. It uh, varies the frequency going to a three-phase motor in order to precisely control the motor's speed. The L510 that you see here is especially cool in that it takes a single phase 110 in, that's your uh, standard wall outlet, and outputs 220 volts three phase, which is the standard for industrial motors like the one on the lathe. I have a couple of projects that I'm working on with this VFD. The first is uh, fairly obviously using it to control the spindle on one of the lathes, but the more interesting one if you look closely below the L510 logo, there's a little door, and behind that little door is a little jack where you can connect an RS-485 uplink cable that you're supposed to use to talk to a uh, horrible, horrible proprietary application that uh, looks like it was designed for Windows 3.1. It's uh, really a terrible thing. Never one to leave well enough alone. I've been working on the protocol and parameters and have cobbled together a uh, GNOME application to talk with the VFD from a uh, Linux machine. At this point, I'm focusing on the GUI app to manage stored settings, but in the future, I'm hoping to uh, enable direct control initially within Octoprint uh, via Raspberry Pi and eventually with a uh, smoothie board directly using uh, Modbus over Soft Serial. So that said, I'd like to show you the application that I've been working on here. So this is just a uh, basic set of all the parameters on the device. Uh, this is managed uh, locally. The device itself doesn't actually store any of the names here. So I've got all of this uh, lives in a JSON file that's uh, part of the configuration for the app. But it does actually talk to the VFD. This uh, loads in the settings from the device itself. This is all happening over Modbus, which is pretty cool. Uh, don't know why that's getting stuck. Um, anyway, it, it's uh, like I said, it's an application that I'm very much still still working on. So the defaults here are the uh, factory defaults, what the what the device was set to when you first get it. And I'm all, I'm working on some uh, profile management here. Uh, it looks like it works here, but it doesn't actually work. But uh, one of the things I want to be able to do is to save profiles for different things and be able to move them easily in between uh, different VFDs. I've actually got two of these guys. Uh, I was planning on sticking one on the uh, mill, but we'll talk about in a later video why that's not going to work. But the other kind of interesting thing with this, uh, while the parameters are grouped together, and this is all kind of you know managed horribly in binary and in memory space in the device, the parameters don't necessarily logically all go together and so I built up the idea of parameter sets. There are different things you can monitor which are in different groups and the uh, external kind of switch management interface also spans a couple of different groups. I'll probably expand this out as I find more things that seem like they should be managed together and this will help uh, with creating kind of dashboards and things like that in the future. One of the things I want this application to be able to do is you know, start and stop the thing, set speeds, show the current uh, RPM, things like that. And uh, that'll be a lot easier if we can manage the uh, manage parameter sets like this. So that's the that's the real quick version of where I've got. I'll put a link to the uh, GitHub repo down in the description below. And uh, yeah, that's about what we've got for today. So we will talk to you next time. Cheers.